Hi everybody, my name is Katie. I'm the Introverted Reader and today is my January wrap up. I read five books in the month of January and I actually DNF'd one as well, which I was really, really sad about. Um, anyway, the very first book that I read in the month of January was on my Kindle and it was The Little Prince. And I do know the author's name, but I can't pronounce the author's name because I'll move you a bit. Um, because he is French and I cannot pronounce the French name, <laughs> which is really sad. But this was like, this was another classic that everybody had been talking about and that everybody just loved. And I didn't know what it was about, but like I remember reading it and it's just, it's so wholesome and pure and it must be protected. Like, it was just, it made me, it was such a simple story, but it just made me think about all of these things. Like, it just made me really, really think about life and what, um, like, you shouldn't have so many expectations on life and it doesn't matter if, like, it doesn't matter if not everyone is feeding you compliments left, right and centre. What it matters is how you feel about yourself and what you've got, like... I feel that. I feel that on a spiritual level. I really do. So yes, The Little Prince. Def I think I gave it four stars. I think I gave it four stars, but it's it was just so pure. So pure. Um, I'll go right on ahead from a book that I really, really liked to a book that I didn't like. This is the book that I actually DNF this month. Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. The second book in the Gentleman Bastard sequence. Now, I adored the characters. The characters are great. I love the dialogue between them, but there wasn't enough of them in this for me. And the plot was just so boring. I got so bored and zoned out so many times. Like it took, this is a 600 page book. And it took a good 200 pages for me for anything to happen, which was really sad because I really wanted to enjoy this and I kept pushing myself. I was like, come on, you love Loch Lamora. It'll get better. It'll get better. The plot's gotta pick up. <laughs> but it just didn't. And I literally maybe got 100 pages away from the end. And I actually kind of spoiled myself for the end. So I kind of, I knew what was gonna happen. Um, but like, I just, my heart just wasn't in it anymore and I'm really upset about it because I really enjoyed the first one. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna continue on with the third one, unfortunately. So that one was DNF'd and, um, it's gonna go away <laughs> because I have a thing where if I've DNF'd you or if I have any negative feelings toward a book, it has to go. It's like, so that's just that. Anyway, the next two books that I read are books two and three of the Mortal Engines Quartet by Philip Reeve. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm actually reading book four right now. But like these two, like this one was good. But then this one got really, really, really real. Although the time difference between the time um, difference between these, because in the second one, our main characters are teenagers. But then in the third one, it skips ahead like 16 years and they're like in their 30s. Um, and they're like all grown up and stuff. Like I'm not going to give away too much. But like um, all in all, I am really, really enjoying this series. Like I don't really care too much about the characters. <laughs> I mean, there are some characters that I do like that are really good. I'm actually listening to them on audio right now. I'm listening to the fourth one right now. And what I'll say is I really... See, with this one, it's the other way around. With Loch Lamora, there was no plot. But with this one, there was a plot. And even though I didn't like the characters, I could focus on the plot and, like, the whole, like, political thing about, like, like talking about, like, um, like, how people should be living. Like, there are, there's, like, a group of people in this that are against the attraction cities and they're all, like, hell-bent on getting rid of them and, like, we should live, like, on the earth just like we used to. And then the people that live on the cities are, like, but no, like, what's wrong with how we live this way? So it's just that whole argument. Like, I really, really enjoyed that. And I'm really, really enjoying this series. I'm really happy that I picked it up. I'm listening to the fourth one on audiobook right now, and it's getting really, really good. Like, I'm really, really enjoying it. Again, there is a certain character. Well, 
I don't really care too much about any of the characters, but there's just one character in particular that I just really, really cannot stand. I just don't like her at all, but whatever. The next one I want to talk about was actually our January book club pick of the month for the Introverted Reader Book Club. I'm going to leave a link down below to the book club Facebook page. If you want to join us, you are more than welcome. Um, but our book for January was The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I have a full review on my channel of this book and it's basically just five or so minutes of me gushing over this masterpiece like I just loved it so much. It's a book all about the Black Lives Matter movement like the 16 year old girl witnesses the fatal shooting of her best friend by a police officer and it's basically just like the repercussions of that and like her living like almost like with like she almost like um gets a little bit of PTSD like she like relives it over and over again in her head and just like just like everything about this story and the characters within this story is just so amazing and so eye-opening like there was so much in here that I didn't even know about and I'm sitting here like I need to wake up <laughs> but like again five out of five stars this is a favorite of the year already and we're only like one month in I just I can't I can't I can't even it's so good and the last one that I want to talk about is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare the third book in the Dark Artifices trilogy this was emotional hell <laughs> Like, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I can't give you a synopsis without spoiling literally every Shadowhunter book that there has ever been ever. But, um, it was emotional. Like, gut-wrenchingly emotional. Like, uh, huh, it was emotional hell. And I was actually scared to pick it up because it picked up literally minutes after the events of the previous book. So, like, Lord of Shadows finished and then I'm thinking oh well maybe it's like maybe like a couple weeks maybe after the events and that one no it's literally we're like right back in there at the time when Lord of Shadows end like right there like Lord of Shadows finished and then Queen of Iron Darkness is like oh but we're still here and this is happening and this is happening and people are crying and it's just like oh <laughs> like oh again like I said it was emotional hell um, but I plied my way through this behemoth of a book and you know what? Um, I've mixed feelings. I think maybe, um, all in all upon further, ref I would have given it four stars. I think, I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads, but upon reflection, maybe three and a half, maybe, hmm? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that like she, Cassandra Clare does this thing where she finishes a series to lead up to the big, to to the like she builds up like how can I word this she ended this one in such a way that was like a cliffhanger to the next series that she's gonna be writing and uh, I'm just I'm excited for that next series to come out but it's gonna be like two years or something or like a year or more before we get it so yeah but anyway those are all the books that I read Hold on, let me pick them up properly. These are all the books that I read in January. And obviously I DNF'd one, but I threw it away. Um, how many books did you read this month? Did you DNF a book this month? Was there a book that left you an emotional wreck? Let me know. Um, <laughs> feel free to let me know. Please follow the Introverted Reader Book Club on Facebook. Please subscribe to this channel. Um, and also follow me on Instagram because I've been posting a lot more on there lately and uh, yeah I'm, I'm going live sometimes which I've never done before so um, yes all that will be down there and I'll leave down the books that I mentioned in this video down there as well because some of you have been asking um, so yeah that's all I have for this video thank you all so much for watching I love you bye